Hey comic book community, Longbox Love Affair here with another comic haul video. I'm focused on spec comics today. These are books that I've piled up over the past couple months. I haven't filmed the haul, so I segmented them into regular comic books that are just for the heck of it. DC comics that I don't usually collect, but I've been branching out a little bit. Spec comics, some variant covers. So uh, hopefully you're along for the ride and hopefully you're subscribed. If not, you know how to do that. You can also hit the bell down below to get notifications. So I've been really focused on uh, eBay postings and trying to sell some of my collection, making room, but also trying to make room in the budget so that there might be room for a future key. But today I'm talking about spec books. So I've been very fortunate. I've run into such, such, such cool stuff that uh, I just can't believe it, and including after the spec is announced, after verification of what this is in the, in the MCU, the Marvel uh, comic universe. So for instance, Moon Knight number two, not just number two, but the newsstand edition. So this is uh, the first appearance of Harrow, which is rumored to be the Ethan Hawke character. No one quite knows what's happening, if it's the Sun King or if it's Harrow, but the subtitles say Harrow. So Moon Knight number two, I picked this up for $8. $8 after the news broke, about two weeks after the news broke about. So I'm pretty psyched to find this one that was just sitting there, so I needed to pick that up. Uh, pretty cool find, especially given the news. Uh, back before the holidays, I was fortunate in my hometown. Again, I told you, this is all over the place. These are books I've picked up over uh, the past two months. So there's no real rhyme or reason other than these are the spec books, in my opinion. Moon Knight number three. This is the first Midnight Man, and we got Walter Shaken. All right, now that Walter's done with his 30 seconds of giving himself a shake... We got Moon Knight number three, newsstand edition, the first appearance of the Midnight Man, I believe, which is rumored to be part of uh, the new show, actually was cast. Unfortunately, the actor passed away very suddenly uh, from an accident. So uh, who knows what's going to happen with that? I picked this up for $12. So um, I was surprised to find that still in the bin, knowing that it was spec. I'm not a huge Moon Knight collector, but if I find them affordably, I will pick them up. Also at that same shop where I got the Moon Knight uh, number three, I got Submariner number 50. I believe this is the f first Namorita. Uh, so with Submariner basically inevitable in the movies, whether it's in Black Panther or Multiverse of Madness or whatever, uh, there's a lot of talk that this character is happening and Marvel's first mutant, essentially. We'll see. We'll see. I'm mean, Obviously, these are spec, and this is my opinion. This is my gleaning from the websites. Uh, so I figured, why not? Pick this up for fairly affordable, $24, uh, and and see what happens. It's not the, the worst gamble in the grand scheme of things. Same shop. Again, they had some great stuff. Micronauts number one. Pick this up for $35. I thought this was a really nice copy. Um, it's got a nice spine. It's a newsstand. So, uh, yeah, fun, 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 fun. It's got a lot of first appearances. Uh, there is some speculation out there in the community. Two different shops uh, within uh, a, a particular trip. I found Avengers number two. And what's significant about Avengers number two, this is when Shang-Chi Shang -Chi, uh, enters the Avengers, becomes an Avenger. So these are both the first print. I think I might have a second print somewhere around here. But uh, that's, that's uh, a, a decent spec and a decent uh, gamble, I think, given that he Avengers is such a franchise and they're going to be looking to fill members. Pick this up really on the cheap, given the market value. Omega the Unknown, number one. This is the first uh, Omega. This is an old series back, gosh, when, what year was this? Um, this is 1975. This character was just reintroduced in the Darkhold finale. Uh, the epilogue that they posted, uh, that they published from Marvel. So who knows what they'll do with this character. It's really unclear, but uh, if they include him in part of like supernatural stuff or magical stuff, who knows? I'm not saying it's an MCU spec. It might be a future series or just a character that they introduce. They also could shelf the character and never use him again. That's the way it goes. Found a really nice copy on eBay for Marvel Comics Presents 158. This is the first appearance of the clandestine. This is uh, Alan Moore's creation. There's a, it's a flip book, so sometimes uh, people you know play uh, have the flip book first. But this is the back one, back or front cover, however you want to look at it. Uh, who knows if they're going to use this? But there's some spec that this might be uh, 
part of Miss Marvel's origin in the MCU when they do them on Disney Plus. So I'm pointing at the TV like you know where the TV is. So uh, so yeah, who knows? But I figured got a decent copy, really nice, harder to find because it is a lower print run. I pick this book up every time I find it. Um, Warlock number nine. The Pulse Pounding premiere issue uh, right after Strange Tales. They merged that. They ended that series and merged Warlock into this, his already existing run that they had discontinued at issue eight. So issue nine is the Jim Starlin run. Amazing book. Love this book. One of my favorites. I was just talking about this on the Superpower Review uh, podcast uh, web uh, web show that I did not too long ago. So check that out. Uh, it's about an hour where we just talk about the comics that we pull. And so this is one that I pulled. I always buy this whenever I find it. So uh, at a dealer that had $3 comics, again, jumping back to those, I picked up Edge of Spider-Verse number five. Cool. I think this is the first appearance of the armor, possibly. Uh, number one, we got Spider-Man Noir. Not his first appearance, but he's in there. Again, three bucks. It's like cover price or less. Uh, actually, for less than cover price, this was three bucks. Spider-Man number nine. This is the second Spider-Gwen and the first in the storyline for the Spider-Verse storyline that they had going on. The first Spider-Verse. So for nine bu- or for three bucks, why not? This is dead spec, I think. Uh, it's Mark Millar's magic order so i found for a dollar each i found issue one first print issue three and issue four one of the the variants to that i would like to read this i'm kind of waiting to get the rest if i find them cheap but i'm not sure uh we'll we'll put that in the pile to read brightest day number four we got the, the Black Lantern Firestorm, Deathstorm on the cover, but it's really the first appearance of Aqualad, the new Aqualad that, that's out there in DC Comics. So cool book to have. Incredible Hulk's annual number one, first appearance of the Ghost Spider, which is essentially Ghost Rider and Spider-Man combined. So if they ever do anything like that in the MCU or in the comic books, I think this is a good one to have. Pick this up randomly for just about five bucks. Uh, Marvel Comic Presents 8, the new series, and it is the first of, uh, I think this is White Tiger on the cover, first cover appearance. Uh, it is yeah, it's maybe one tick, if that. Uh, I figured, why not pick this up? It's her first cover. A couple people on YouTube were talking about that. And again, it's like, is the gamble worth it? We'll see, but it's for five bucks. Uh, for cheaper than five bucks, I picked up Punisher 228, and this is a Clayton Crane cover. Uh, this is a uh, one that I think is hot out there. It's not necessarily spec per se, but it's Punisher and the War, um, the War Machine uh, armor, and a hot comic book. I think people are are uh, picking that up. I see that on walls for some reason. Again, I uh, from the same store. I picked up four four. $4, $5 books, um, Moon Knight and Devil Dinosaur number 46 towards the end of the run, and 45 and then uh, there was one more issue, 47 I think, and that was the final issue. So pick those up. And then last but not least are four copies of Spider-Man. So awesome, uh, awesome covers here. And it's a Bendis and Pacelli storyline. Spider-Man, num- Spider-Man number two. Number three, that's a cool cover. Uh, And then number four, and number five. So these, uh, I guess, spec because of the the merging of the two universes, Miles and and Peter Parker. So those are good ones to have, I think, and and to, to have that set. I don't remember if I have number one. I need to double check. I know I have a number two that's a newsstand. It's a really cool cover. Uh, really happy to have that, and I just lucked out to find a newsstand. Surprised they did newsstands at that time, but I think it was at the very end of Marvel having their stuff at the, the bookshops. So so that's my haul. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to be filming some more, posting more, and the things are just waiting in the wings. So appreciate you checking me out. Uh, if you like, subscribe to me here. Subscribe to me on Instagram. Check me out on eBay. You got all the information in the description below. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.